Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the brand new mode rewards that have updated for this week here in NBA 2K24. My team, before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily My Team content. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. And let's start off by just discussing who the cards are for this week. So, I would actually say this week's cards are pretty solid. Now, you see Dirk Nowitzki's the headliner. He's not, as much as I am the biggest Dirk fan in the world, I love myself some Dirk, his jumper's not great. He's not elite. But they did supplement Dirk with an absolutely exceptional free Dark Matter option, which is Cade Cunningham, one of the very best and most desirable Dark Matters in the game. The best Cade Cunningham card in the game has an absolutely elite jumper, perfect sigs, and one of the best fades in the game. Just exceptional animations with a very good size, the PG spot as well. He is one of the better point guards in the game still to this day. And I think there are a lot of people out there who would love to get Cade Cunningham and add him to their squad. Additionally, with him being the Dark Matter and not the 100 overall he is going to be more common to get than the previous cards that have been dropped on this that were super desirable i honestly think this is probably one of the more desirable cards that has been included in this drop uh, or in this this set of content i guess i should say not in this drop but in this um they've been doing these motor awards for now for a few weeks and i feel like this is some of the best that they've dropped so far or one of the best that they've dropped so far for sure in terms of cards um so with that being said Obviously, you can grind for this Cade in a bunch of different modes, and I think he's really very much worth grinding for um, for a lot of people, I think, because he's a really, really super solid PG option. Obviously, a very popular card in my team as well. Um, the one thing I will say, though, is I just think at the end of the day, he is going to be a little bit of a challenge. I don't know. He's not a super hard card to get, but he's probably not going to be exceptionally easier, easy either. I will say your best mode, as always, to grind for one of these mode awards is going to be triple threat offline just because the games are the quickest. Also, you're never going to lose a triple threat offline game. And I do think the door game gives you a pretty good chance as well in terms of the, the type of reward that is uh, the after game reward. I feel like the door game is the one actually that gives you the highest percentage chance of getting one of the cards you want because there's only three potential rewards after each game and you can choose two of them basically because you open the first middle slot if you don't get Cade or whoever you want there then you could open another slot and you have a chance to get them again and yes there's a chance they're also in that third slot where you can't get them but for example even on like a wheel a wheel spin in another mode you're not guaranteed by any means to get the player you want just because there is um I, just because they're they're on the wheel spin certainly does not make them an easier attainable card to get and I think that's also very true when it comes to um I don't know. I just think when the door game, I think the door game is probably the easiest way to get players. So I guess the vault, you have to get lucky though to get the player as the reward out of the vault. The percentage chance that's pretty low. I've always personally felt like the door game was the easiest chance. So that's why I would say triple threat offline. Offline at the end of the day is probably your best bet. Now it's also available in clutch on offline on the wheel spin. Now, again, these wheel spins, you're certainly not guaranteed to get the player whatsoever. But if you do, that's great. Um, same thing obviously can be said for the uh, domination is not available. Challenges, you can get them in the pickup challenges. I don't know if anybody actually does these pickup challenges. I certainly don't, but these pickup challenges each give you rewards from different modes, basically an unlimited vault prize for the past last two, uh, clutch time online wheel spin prize for the previous two, and then you got a triple threat online door game prize, a clutch time online or offline wheel spin prize, and then a triple threat offline door game prize. Um, so overall, I will say, I do actually think that there is a pretty good chance that it's actually pretty worth getting uh, I wouldn't do these specifically, but I, I definitely think Triple Threat Online is going to be your best online mode when it comes to grinding these mode rewards um, because Triple Threat Online is the door game. So if you're more of an online player, you don't enjoy playing offline, it's too mind numbing for you, which I think has definitely been true for me in the past and still is kind of true. If that's the way you feel, then in my opinion, your best bet is probably instead of doing the Triple Threat Offline grind, which is going to be super boring, Triple Threat Online is going to be at least a little bit more entertaining. Playing against real people for those of y'all like me who would prefer to play online now. Obviously, I personally will not be doing this. The only grind that I will be doing over the next couple of weeks is playing college football. Um, 
so this is not something that's interesting to me at all but at least it's actually a really good reward card in Cade Cunningham definitely one of the better reward cards that they've had as a voter especially since he should be like I said a bit more attainable than the 100 overalls generally are the dark matters were last season because obviously there were some really good dark matters last season like Paul George and Tim Thomas and Mark Eaton as well that were earnable but I do think your best bet again is going to be um, just grinding one of the triple threat modes either online or offline if you're trying to get these motor awards and uh, remember he's available for the next nearly week technically this card was made available yesterday so he's available until next Wednesday when a new player will be reset but for the time being um, Kate Cunningham is the player that you have available for the next six days so hopefully y'all are able to get Kate if you want him uh, obviously I would say Kate is probably not the only card that a lot of people want but he is definitely a super desirable card there's no doubt about that whether he's the most desirable well I, I don't know I think he's good I think he's a very solid card I think he's uh, definitely a card that people want so I I'll give him that I, I definitely will give them that this is a solid motor lord it's just it's too little too late in my opinion especially when you combine it with the mt offers being really bad i mean this week's mt offer for Embiid, i already made a video on it but that is it's just an atrocity like why would anybody want to grind this um same thing with honestly like motor wards aren't terrible but when you look at it like serge abaka still he's in offline richard jefferson's fine but eh He's got an upper that's just a little limited. They change his base, but still not that great. Salary cap being Sharif Abdul Rahim is good. I mean, salary cap's end reward is Penny Hardaway, who's super good this season. Uh, clutch online is Kevin Garnett. I mean, doesn't have a great same side. Has he released? Is pretty mediocre. Everything else about him is good. Brandon Ingram's not even good at all, but he will be replaced soon. And then Tim Duncan is the ultimate unlimited reward. Chris Bosh is the shorter unlimited mode reward. But honestly, this season, I feel like the only reward cards that are like truly definitely worth grinding are Tim Duncan. And then I guess Penny Hardaway from salary cap like and then i guess level 40 if you haven't already gotten there for kareem but for me it's just it's hard to even justify any sort of grind in this game right now because most of the grinds are not all that rewarding and i don't know this motor ward is okay but it's i don't think it's a huge exception it's definitely not the type of thing that's going to get me or people i think like me that are just done with my team to play this game but again, I think that's kind of just the way it's going to be for the rest of the year at this point, to be completely honest. I think we're kind of done for. So if you want Cade Cunningham, if you want Dirk, if you want, I guess, Galaxy Opal Nick Batum as well, they're attainable. So there you go. Feel free to go grind for those cards this week if you are interested. No, I personally will not, but just wanted to make y'all aware that they are available. So with that being said, that is what we're going to call it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.